hello guys welcome back to the another new video so actually this is the information and the informal video uh i think after a long time i mean i didn't make any video with for or this uh, qa question and uh, very important topics okay but i didn't make any video for single of video lots of time ago uh, long time ago i i did make a video for faq question so first of all i want to go my pdf file data analysis qa q and answer okay question and answer first of all what is the da dx in the power bi actually that is the power bi related question and answer okay i'll give you this uh, pdf file in my description below the link you just go to my website and download this results from results file so first of all you have to go to website uh, my own website my portfolio website masukmia.com then click this uh, hit the enter actually and i just to log out first of all because this is the dashboard panel okay now go to masukmia.com then you will find my portfolio website and this is actually uh, google adsense okay so just click this and hit the enter so guys if you like this video and obviously subscribe my youtube channel and i'll give you all our document in my own website marshall.com you have to go to just uh, um, services page then all resources file okay then you'll download easily from here download file zero to hero in the power bi dx download click the center simply click this okay then you'll just download this okay so guys if you have any problem then you can tell me i will give you in the description below or you can send me the this email address you can easily and this is the whatsapp number so you need, if you need any whatsapp number or contact the you can details easily contact with me uh, directly so guys if uh, this is the data analyst question and answer this is the two pdf and uh, this is the pdf of dsx form noted then this is the another pdf q and answer so you will find it everything from this here okay guys i will add day by day in my own on my own portfolio i set all the under of resources file okay so guys i think if you um, like my video obviously subscribe my youtube channel so let's go to the, our discussion part so here first of all what is the dx in power bi so this tutorial is fully covered by power bi uh, answer q and answer and formula okay the next time i will give the upload another video for how to uh, use power bi and how to make a project for using the table or pivot table and connect to the power bi table okay so already i may i'm making a video i am making a video based on the power bi project okay it will be uh, 2.5 hour or 2.3 hour i think the two two hour uh, 30 minute okay dss stand for data analysis expression it, it is a collection for, of function operates and constants that can be used to even power bi power pivot at sql server analysis service to build formula to expression for the data analysis and calculation so what are the calculate formula and measure in power bi that is the question of interview question okay that is the selected by the lots of people are getting their interview question this okay this type of question so i think you need to answer calculated columns that means there are new column added at table using the dxs formula they are calculated row by row okay then measure there are calculate calculation created using dsx data are evaluated only in the context of the visual re report filter so that is the example that is the example okay so total price sales quantity sales unit price then total sales sum sales sales below them sales amount then what is the difference between sum and sum x in the dx so sum adds all values in the single column okay that is the called of sum sum x performance row y is calculation and sum sums the result of this calculation so i think total revenue sum x sales sales of quantity into sales of unit price okay then what is the calculate function in the dxs 
dx okay the accumulate function modified the filter context of the calculation it's used to apply filter may modify the existing ones so cells use a that means you have a column row uh, getting the cells of amount of the sum below and cells of country yes okay now how does the filter function work in dxs uh, so the filter function return table uh, that represents a subset of another table example high value cells filter cells of cells cells, uh, cells into amount of uh, 5000 that is the actually number of the given of real time example that is the called how does the filter function work in dsx you just know that this is the formula okay guys then after later i will make a video on that topics in the next time that is the our uh, like informational video now what does the all function in the uh, do in the dx the all function removes uh, filter from the specified columns or table it often used to the calculate totals or for percentage then after the what is the this is the actual equation you just mean that you know learn about the equation okay what is the what uh, what is the difference between related and related table in the dx related table that means the read drives a single value of related table then related table return an entire table a whole table related to the row so you mean that related table that means the reader single value that's called related to the related table only then related table that returns the entire table related to the rows okay so that's called the related table used in calculated columns a measure of the aggregation so what is the earlier in dx and where it is in used earlier is used to draw okay context to refer to the value okay i just uh, click this Okay, sorry for that guys so column below of the previous row context is used for the calculation like rankings that is very simple rankings and cells of cells cells amount of cell then descent order and dns dense so what is the use of divided function in dx divided function ds that means the whole amount of value you can sum equation and cells by amount of then variable return to the zero profit margin okay so guys you just know that about this equation only so what are the time intelligence time intelligence function in dsx so that means time intelligence function are used for time based calculation like year to date and period to last year sps PLOI. okay and then same period l y same period last year the example the yt ytd then t totally ytd some cells of cells uh, cells amount of the equation the into then then dates of date then how you can calculate the running total in the dxs you can use the total ytd or combination calculate and filter example that is the equation okay then how what is the context of in dxs and what are the its types then that is our um, answer row context deals with the individuals row in the table the filter context can to into play uh, when the filters are applied the visuals using the dss function like calculate then what are what is the ranks function and how it is used so it's very simple guys simple to the rank method okay how to do you handle many 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 to many so that then, uh, relation to power vi so use bridged a table to remove MLS ambiguity then to handle many to many relationship what are the dxs best practices here is the best practices okay use measure of over calculate columns where possible then avoid using violate function like now today and unless is necessary use variable to make code readable and efficient then leverage performance optimization tools like dss studio okay so after that our another pdf file so guys you have to visit my own website and find this two pdf then uh, write down the note okay calculate column in power bi definition a calculate for column is the new column that you create in the table using dss data analysis expression the value of value for each row in calculate when the cal column is the created and it remains static unless the data is refreshed. Oh.
here okay the cells data total cells into a whole data table and 100 tables number of column row okay then it's actually very very important for whole tables okay and in the next time i will show you how to what it what it is okay difference between sum and sum x formula in the power bi already i showed in the and i already discussed on another tip pdf file data analyst and question to answer okay then key difference difference between sum and sum x function type aggregation function iterator, iterator function that's called iterator i don't know about this pronunciation okay so operation sum solves value in the single column directly then calculates the row by row based on the expression then sums input single column that's the difference so the sums that's the reference guys so you know that single that's called the single column there's the table and table expression okay now use cases symbol summation of numeric column and when we need to the calculate something for each row before summing performance fast and efficient slower larger than data set it, um, iterators over rows okay maybe iterators I don't know. okay then the count formula count formula there's number of the customer count table and customer id okay that's easy very easy count uh, count counts the number of non-blank values in the column okay when you want to count the non empty columns in the column then okay count uh, count a formula in power bi definition counts count account accounts the number of sorry counts count a that's called the formula of count a formula okay then counts the number of non-blank values in the columns including text numeric values and logical values even counts boolean values and to where only count will not boolean type data type number of reviews that count a table review status that's the table of column row okay <sighs> then use cases when you need to the count all known blanks values regardless of the type of text number etc then here is the count blank formula then the calendar text aggregate mean date filter related max and count all okay guys then every single pages you will show that this picture type of this picture okay then then count rows formula in the power bi that is the total count rows count rows equal tables okay when you want to count count the total number of rows in the table or in the filter table use cases okay then distinct uh, i don't know about the pronunciation okay guys sorry about that distinct count okay formula then distinct counts the number of unique of non play values values of number then unique state distinct maybe i don't know okay count the table of state then use cases when you uh, need to the count table distinct t inked distinct oh sorry for that guys uh, maybe spelling is distinct i don't know okay then formula uh, count x formula okay count x formula that's called the count reviews um, less than okay greater than greater than equal okay then equal to the count table and uh, if table reviews point five one and blank use cases of the count base and expression that is the evaluate from the each row of the table maybe this is the needs for explain of live example i think that that is the summary of dx's count counting function that is the count function provide flexibility depending on whether you are counting all rows distinct value then non well blanks blank values values for based on the expression of the condition then count count non blanks numeric values in the column then count j that's already i just uh, explain everything okay 
but in the here you just you have to read this count and count blank count rows distinct count then distinct blank then count x and count tx so here is the extract day month year formula in the here okay maybe i have to small uh, this one okay day extract the day for date value month extract the month of for, from date value year extract the year from the date value then two days show current date number of now show current date and time week show weekday in the numbers between one to seven week number show week in week number in month and year then here syntax start date in date and in travel I create a custom calendar here is the custom calendar you just use this let function and then you have to modify this one okay then there's the ma code okay I create a custom calendar in the power query that's the power query by them by manual okay not by default so it will you have to work then formula the calendar two then the calendar function power bi is powerful tool for creating data table automatically dates the data range for from all data columns in your data model this may that's this means it scans your data and generate the data range based on the minimum and maximum data founds in the model which is especially helpful for dynamic dates table without specify start into the create manually so guys i will explain everything in the whole uh, step in one video inside of this one okay formula for tax calculation tax equals sales total sales uh, row and 100 full columns okay then you will calculate the calculate columns all calculate text function then i will show you in this uh, table using and uh, making a video another map video then you will get an idea and you will understand very well okay guys so now you, if you visit my website and already download this document read it first then uh, follow the next video for data power bi for beginners data analysis okay guys thank you guys thanks for watching see you soon in the next video